sorry. Again, I am unwilling to show my screen. I do not want any more bullying from Google YouTube. But I want very much to get what I see from just French mainstream media to English-speaking people, especially my fellow Americans. I'm expat. The U.S. became untenable for me. So I left at age 37 in 1994, and I've been in France for going on 21 years. This is from my yahoo.fr opening page. This is only a browser. This is not a server. Use foreign servers regularly to look at news from outside the USA because America, you have been behind a virtual curtain for years, and the lies that I have seen, and I've been a journalist for decades, being put forth to the American people since 2012 are at a hundred percent level. A hundred percent. Before that it was bad, and, and don't trust the alternative media. Get out. Get out of the USA. Oh, okay. So, the, the further source for this is liberation.fr uh, uh, and today is the 1st of August and this came out very late in the evening here. It'll be midnight pretty soon. I'm going to bed shortly. Ah, Liberation likes me uh, very much as a, a writer, a journalist, and everything. I got, got good notes from them. So kudos to me. Okay, the headline, and there's a... Uh, oh, God, what a photo of Obama. I wish I could show it to you. Ugh. Obama. We, I'm reading from the French, we tortured people after September 11th, meaning the USA. It says, a parliamentary American report. Now see, the French have a parliament and the U.S. doesn't. See, the, the president in France is not the chief executive. That's not the highest office in the land, which actually the American president isn't either. There are about 20 or so levels above the U.S. president, but whatever. So that's just the way they put it. I don't agree with it, but anyway, I think they just mean, you know, uh, a white paper on interrogation in te uh, uh, techniques uh, used by the CIA between 2002 and 2006 have been declassified. The President of the United States, Barack Obama, stated on Wednesday, uh, Friday, excuse me, which was today, the 1st of August 2014, that he, as he has already spoken of the past, or in the past, Americans had tortured people after the September 11th attacks in 2001, asking at the same time not to judge them too hard. <laughs> you know, we have a, done a lot of fair things, but we have tortured people. Oh, what a statement. Ooh. Uh, okay, so it's been declassified. And this took place under George W. Bush. Uh, well, we used certain techniques uh, of interrogation uh, very hard uh, that these techniques I consider and all honest people must consider as torture. We, we crossed a line. Okay, so this was in a press conference at the White House. And then it says, after the September 11th, 
2001 attacks, as they call them. What a load of hooey. After the inside job by the CIA, the FBI, Mossad, and the Bush family working together in collusion. And by the way, just so you know, discreet admissions have been made publicly. This is a matter of public record of guilt that they were behind this and I'm looking for a hard copy. All right. And also, I, I've written to my former congressman in New York State, who's now the New York senator, and asked him to please read the recently declassified 28-page report on 9-11. And to make it public and to get me a copy and I will reimburse for the, the mailing and, and copying expenses. And I'm sure I won't hear from him. But I wanted to let him know that I want to see it and I'm looking for it. So if any of you can get it to me, the same offer stands, you know, mailing and photocopying costs and, you know, uh, I... I I can't print things here, but uh, even, I suppose, a, a basic computer file, but I'd like to have a hard copy. I'm disabled. It's very hard for me to get out and find a place to print things. All right. Uh, and somebody trashed this computer four years ago, some idiot American. That's what you get for trying to help uh, your fellow Americans. All right, that's another thing. After the September 11th, 2001 attacks, ooh, the CIA captured dozens of people suspected of having ties with Al-Qaeda, which was created by the USA, as many of you, uh, of you know. You know, made in the CIA and used uh, uh, muscle interrogation techniques, you know, muscles. That's a, a French term. I don't know how you translate that. You know, brutal, okay? These methods consisted of uh, sleep deprivation, stripping of the detained person, or waterboarding. They call it simulation of drowning here. Uh, reminding that he had forbidden these methods when he got to the White House, Obama has since put on guard against all judgment too moralistic on this period. Ah, he doesn't want to judge. Well, I would, and I do. Screw that. I think that because w as we look back, it's important to remember how many people were terrified after the tower twin towers fell at the Pentagon. Uh, yeah, but you know, ah, oh, that then there was no plane. That plane for the Pentagon safely unloaded all of its passengers, including many Raytheon employees, at Cleveland Hopkins International Airport on September 11th. I'm from Cleveland. I had a family member there who was stuck there in the melee. And it was on regional and international news for 48 hours until they scrubbed it on the third day. And if you don't believe me, the Federal Jack Tube channel or one of them, somebody found one of these. They've all, they had all been scrubbed and sent it over there and Popeye posted it. Bless him. I mean, I, I saw it for two days here in Europe. Hello. I was able to get through to family in Ohio, of course. Anyway, that was not that plane that hit the Pentagon. And 9-11, I know a lot of people who were there. I seem to have lost one. I never could find him again. And uh, two friends of mine have died since then 
after breathing the, du uh, the dust. And a third one, uh, these people have, are very dear to me, this is very painful, is in miserable, miserable, miserable health and has been since immediately thereafter. Okay, the Pentagon was hit. A plane crashed in Pennsylvania. Oh yeah, that was a plane. Uh, he underlined. The people didn't know whether or not other attacks were imminent. Uh, there was an enormous, enormous pressure on the shoulders of the security forces and our security teams to try to face this situation, he said further. Yeah, but apparently Bush went up in Air Force One and he couldn't get any comms for, what, two, three hours? He couldn't even get CNN. So when he got back down, you know, they just ripped everything out and replaced everything in, in the thing. The whole thing is bogus. You know, there was this... You know, the, the, the home run system was already in place in, in all those planes. And it had been since 1995. And it allowed remote control of passenger jets and I, perhaps other big planes uh, in case the pilot and co-pilot and crew were incapacitated. And I've seen the patent for this. And it's it's just true. This is insane. Anyway, you guys know about this stuff. I'm sure a lot of you do. Obama, who's always given support to the declassification of government stuff. Yeah, they say parliamentary, you know. I don't think they really understand the American governmental system. Uh, it's okay. Americans don't understand it over here. They, they, they don't even understand people have completely different motivations here and everything. Okay. Um, yeah, oh yeah, he's been, he's been wide open. He's been wide open for a lot of things. <sighs> but they're not transparency about who he is, what his grades were in school, We've never heard from any of his girlfriends. We've never heard from any of his students at Columbia. Ugh. I was warned about him before he was elected by someone I've known since the early 80s who was very upset and who told me some things that I don't even want to repeat. Uh, they were very, 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 very upset and would definitely have been a supporter, but this this person was in politics for years and in their journalistic role also, well, actually it was photographer, would know. Okay, I've said enough. This person, I've never known this person to lie. And I still rely on this person occasionally for journalistic confirmation and they can usually supply concrete support actually they did become a regular journalist later before they retired okay um, see this is just like smoke and mirrors and this is just so bogus Obama yeah, they say he's always at, at supported declassification of documents. We must, um, as a country, assume our responsibilities with regard to what happened, and I hope not let it happen in the, uh, again in the future. I think he's referring to the torture. Now, Sidney Boudreau on YouTube has a very modest little clip up. This is a, an electronic engineer, I believe, in the United States. And he's the one who put out the word that we should all write to our Congress people, congressmen, congresswomen, and say that the 28-page report has been declassified with regard to 
9/11, and I don't care that Glenn Beck says it'll change history. I don't. I don't consider him valid. Um, and so I did that, even though this person is now my senator. And you know, light a fire under their asses, and ask them to please make this information public. And if you can spare a few bucks ask for a copy of it, a hard copy, to be mailed to you. We've all got to ask. It's easy to do. Most of these people have, of course, they have websites and email addresses. You can also lick a stamp, all right? Oh, and it says AFP at the bottom. Uh, that's Agence France Presse, the French press agency. So sorry for no picture, but I hope you're listening to me. This is disgusting. I am so sad for the country of my birth. Horrible.